Have you ever wondered what happens to all the poop you hold back? Why does the urge to poop disappear when you hold it back? Is it digested by the intestines? When you take a bite of food, food forms a paste between your teeth and saliva. This paste is sent to the stomach. The stomach breaks it down into chow and then into the small intestine. Most of the nutrients in the chowder are absorbed by the villi of the small intestine and the remaining unabsorbable remnants of celiac disease will be sent to the large intestine as the small intestine contracts and peristalsis. The large intestine absorbs water and electrolytes from the chowder and shapes it. A fresh stool is then processed when a certain amount of feces accumulates in the colon and sends a signal to the brain's mutation center, to the brain's mutation center. And that's how you feel the urge to poop. If you choose to hold your bowel movement at this point, the cerebral cortex sends a signal to the anal sphincter and you'll subconsciously tighten the gate and push back the poop that's reached the barrier. In the process, the colon absorbs water from the poop and eventually becomes become dry and hard.